Okay, we got a video response asking us a question. <gasps> a video response? Why, how novel. Here on YouTube? You know that website that hosts videos? What a, what are the odds? Well, you don't have to be a butt munch about it. What do I think about polygamy? I think it's wrong. I think it'll destroy America. I think it'll devalue uh, marriages between a man and a woman in this country. Heck, everyone knows that. If God intended us to be married to multiple women, he would have, uh, he would have put that uh, uh, in the, wait a minute. I think I need to do some research, but I'm pretty sure the Bible's against it. And if the Bible's against it, then I'm against it. I, I, I know that, uh, Almost everybody else is against it. I mean, it's not natural. You don't see it in nature, do you? Wait a minute. Am I using a science-based argument against polygamy? Oh man, I, I really need to investigate this more. Polygamy? But I'm against all marriage. It's an archaic religious ceremony. I think it should be done away with. Just like Mormons and Muslims. Okay, we're done. What did, I, what did I say? Did I say the M word again? You said both of them. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, man, uh, you know, I don't have anything uh, against it per se. I, I actually kind of like it, you know? It feels good to me, you know? Uh, it's a lot uh, slicker than uh, cotton. Um, but uh, not quite as slick as silk, you know? I don't care if it's artificial. Uh, I kind of like it. What? Polygamy. Not polyester. Oh. Uh, what's polygamy again? Uh, yeah, uh, before I answer the question, uh, do we know what, uh, Be Bezo had to say about it? I just like to agree with everything that Bezo says, because he's like, He's, he's super cool, he rocks. And uh, I don't like having opinions of my own necessarily because they could, uh, you know, not agree with uh, Bezos. And I just want to make sure that he and I are on the same page. I don't think he knows what, what it is. What what is? I don't think he knows what polygamy is. Oh, then neither do I. Do you think he'll like that answer? I don't care. That's my whole answer. I don't care. I mean, um, yeah, I think, but I think that there are a lot more other injustices out there. I mean, if people want to marry each other, fine. It's none of my business. I don't want to have to vote on it on nothing. Just take it to the Supreme Court and have it argued out. That and gay marriage, both of them, right there. It's a very narrow way to interpret this, and, uh, you know, that's it. I'd rather talk about other things. How are you? Oh, well, I mean, I'm against all forms of marriage. I, uh, I think people shouldn't have to be bound together in some legal ceremony. I mean, I believe in polyamory, like, duh. But, uh, marriage? I don't know. I mean, if people really want to, then they should be able to, you know? But personally, uh, it's not gonna happen. I'm a free spirit. I'll never be uh, uh, locked down into any kind of relationship. Unless they had money. It's really quite simple. The reason why polygamy is illegal is because of the tax code. Could you imagine if people were allowed to marry as many people as they want? The number of exceptions you'd have if you claim married on your tax forms? That's the real reason. The government wants its money. And if you do that, you'd probably be paying next to nothing in taxes. What with all the write-offs from the children and everything else. It's really very simple. I don't understand why people can't see that. Holy crap. That kind of made sense. Anyone that's involved in a poly whatever relationship is a loser. What about in a regular marriage? Loser! 
What about in a casual relationship? Loser! Polyamorous relationship. Loser! What part of that don't you understand? Polygamy? I support it. So long as the people involved are consenting adults. And by consenting adults, I mean people who know what they want and is making an informed decision. Um, and that they could get out of the marriage anytime they wanted to. I mean, why is it illegal? Why does the government care if someone is married to one person or five? So long as they are all over the age of 18 and making the choice to uh, be in a polyamorous and polygamous relationship, then how is it anybody's business? Now, what I am against is the way certain branches of the Mormon church handle their multiple marriages with what I consider cult behavior. Uh, men selecting girls from a joy book where women become not much more than slaves? There is no choice there. Believe it or not, I feel the same way about polygamy as I do about gay marriage. It's an infringement on our individual freedom, unconstitutional, and it's based on the morality code of a very specific group of people. Sure, polygamy isn't for everyone, but should that make it illegal? Hey, just because I personally can't imagine being in a polygamous marriage, does that mean I should support laws that force others to behave the same way? Yes, yes, you should. Polygamy is unnatural. The Bible endorses polygamy. No, it doesn't. I mean, it has polygamy in it, but that doesn't mean God endorsed it. Is there a commandment against it? Um... No. Is there any negative comment about it at all? Not as such, but I get a really good feeling that God doesn't like it. Besides, if polygamy is passed, then it will diminish marriage between one man and one woman. Oh, not this argument again. That argument didn't work for gay marriage. What makes you think it'll work for polygamous marriage? Second time's the charm? What do you guys think? Is polygamy morally wrong and should continue to be illegal? Or are the laws against polygamy unconstitutional and violates individual freedoms? Comment! Or make a video response. Isn't it funny that a topic so close to the Mormon church would be related to the one that they fought against? I mean, the issues surrounding gay marriage and polygamous marriage are the same. Making them illegal violates the Constitution, and there is no real reason to keep them illegal aside from other people's personal choice and moral smugness. Well, being gay is a sin in the Bible, so it's got that. F*** the Bible. It has no place in our laws, and f*** you for bringing it up. What? You know you wanted to say it. Thanks, Questionable Jesus, for that video topic. Um, there's a link in the doodly-doo. And thanks for blissful melancholy for the word doodly-doo. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Lasoyo and I are starting our weight off, so let's show the weight for today. Jeez. I'm a walking landmass. I mean, I'm more fat than man. Okay, enough of that. Um, I will update next week. Um, on the next weigh-in, which is Friday. Friday, Friday. <laughs> so until next week, this has been Jason with a day. And now for the favorite comment of the week. This week's comment comes from Blissful Melancholy, in which she says, I mainline pixie sticks. This is the part where we welcome new citizens to Opinionville. Please be sure to visit Fundy Monster Ministries this Sunday. The sermon will be about how peanut butter is the atheist's worst nightmare. Somehow. Remember, the ministry is located in the Opinionville strip mall right next to Smorgabobs. Are you doing an ad for your ministry or reading names? Oh, a little from column A and a little from column B. More of column A, please. Fine! Welcome! Go to hell, Googleization. Hey, you made me cuss there. Uh, <clears throat> Sound of silence. Comrade Soul Burner. The Soul Eater 37. Amy Wamy. <laughs> uh, Von Blarg. Magister Verum. Remember, anyone who shows up to services on Sunday gets a coupon for a small soft serve ice cream at Smorgabobs. Funny. All right.